Hello, my name is Gaia Chloe Schilling, and I'll be talking about the San Francisco Fleet Week that's happened the last week. San Francisco Fleet Week began in 1981 when Mayor Diane Feinstein led the nation to celebrating America's Seas Services. This Fleet Week takes place every October from the 1st to the 9th, either in the marina or near the pier or in many community events all over San Francisco and that's become a significant part of the city's culture. The first thing that's happened is the air shows. The air shows take place over three consecutive days in the sky, above the city's waterfront near the pier. The air show attracts over a million people around the bay, watching the U US Navy Blue Angels and the Canadian Snowbirds. Even throughout the fleet week, thousands of visitors even climb aboard ambiguous carriers. Destroyers and cruisers docked at the embar Embarcadero to get a glimpse into day-to-day -day lives of the sailors served in the U.S. Navy, U.S. Coast Guard, and Canadian Navy. This event is free and open to the public all weekend long. It's an estimated of 1.5 million people in San Francisco over the whole entire Fleet Week activities. Due to recent events, like in Las Vegas with the, with the shooting last Sunday, the Coast Guard has ramped up its security and safety to make sure that spectators and participants enjoy the event safely. Fleet Week brings a parade of military ships, community events, and air shows to San Francisco every October. It attracts millions of visitors and generates more than 10 million in annual revenue. And it's an amazing event that everyone loves every single October, including myself. I remember watching the Blue Angels in, the cla in my classroom when I was in fourth grade to being at home and just hearing the jets across San Francisco. It's an amazing show and you should definitely watch it if you can.